What's going on, guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy Brave Access video, and my boy, Last Whale, has been buffed. It's been buffed. So, let us get into all of it, because there's a, quite a bit to go over. First of all, his Mirror Equity Blue Sky is now an 88 times modifier, which is slightly significant. Not huge, but significant. Glacial Judgment Blade is now a 80 times mod with eight long burst cross crystals to fill to everybody, which is a lot more significant. Six is way better than, or eight is way better than six in way more ways than you can imagine. And also, Frozen Blade Flash is now a three turn cooldown instead of four. And it also decreases ice resistance by 130% for five turns. And also increases attack and magic by 300% for five turns. Now, I mean, you could you could say the magic prior edition is kind of whatever because unless you're transitioning quickly into his brave shift form, I mean, why do you care about magic for? So it's 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 good. It is good because if you shift back and you use this buff, because the other one's on cooldown, maybe I don't know. Unless they're both the same, I don't remember if they're both the same cooldown or not. But I do remember them both doing uh, Ice and Pearl, so maybe they are. Anyways, Bane of Dragon Insects now gives... Uh... Yeah, I think it gives more killers now, right? I believe there... Maybe this isn't the one. There, there's one that gives like an additional killer, but I think that this is okay. Pretty good. More killers is always good, right guys? More killers. And also 20% 20, 20 low burst damage at this point in the game is quite strong. I have to say. So already we're looking pretty good. Passives, his TMR ability you know, has 100% low burst damage because remember he's a low burst damage dealer in his base form. And also he gets 50% attack and magic when equipped with a katana, katana. I'm not really sure why that is, but I'm assuming both of their TMRs are the same or their, like their team rewards are the same on both sides. Because there would be no reason to have magic on that part. <clears throat> Anyways, he now has 150% dragon killer. Very good. <clears throat> he has, now has 250, but also if you look down there, he has another 50, so quite nice. Now he has 300% uh, PDH in his base form. He also gets some more MP refresh and more MP in his spirits. And more attack when equipped with a katana. So you really want to equip a katana, that's for sure. And his little burst is now 140 times mod chaining ability. And it gives that 300% attack and magic buff. And also 135% ice ice and wind in peril. I didn't see the wind part. That's quite nice. Ice and wind in peril, nice. So that's quite strong. 135%. I mean Global's just now getting those kind of numbers, right? Or at least if, if they're not getting them now, I can't remember if they haven't already, but I think that they will soon if they haven't already. So well, CN version's already getting them, so that's interesting. Obliterating Ice Blade in his Brave Shift form. Now 86 times modifier. That's a CWA chaining, so it's already way better, way better. 86 times, very nice. And then Freezing Ice Edge and also Raging Wind Edge now is six uses per battle instead of three, and now is a hundred times mod. So very good. His modifiers are slightly stronger. Still in his brave shift form and his passives, remembering master, more MP, more MP recovery, and also attack and magic increase. His little first, well, not many people use this. It is 170 times, 175 times mod finisher. And also 300% magic. Well, I think those, that one was the same, but increases the first damage 175% to caster for three turns. So pretty good. TMR is now, oh, this is what I was thinking of. His TMR is now dragons and insects instead of just dragons by 50%. And also increases attack and magic by 50% um, TDH. So he has physical and magical TDH with that TMR. His STMR now gives 250 attack and magic when equipped with a robe by himself by 
if he himself equips this, he gets 250 flat attacking magic, which is really nice. And a vision card level 10, try to surpass, surpass me. Uh, the requirement is now only for himself as the last level, but you can still use the other ones. And you get the killers as, as it always was, but you get 500 flat attack and magic. So very nice. You might, might, you might see, oh, he doesn't have, you know, chain cap increase because those don't exist yet. If you guys remember, those don't quite exist yet on the CN version because lightning hasn't come out yet. So, of course, you wouldn't be able to do that. But at the same time, the reason why they didn't give him the 600% cap is because uh, his katana would be kind of his his katana upgrade in the future would be kind of worthless. Uh, why would you want to do that if you ha if you already have it? So that's the reason why he doesn't have the six times cap. Kind of makes sense to me at least that he wouldn't have it because then you wouldn't want to do the katana upgrade and then it's just like eh. So overall, very good buffs, very good buffs. I would say. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in their global review tomorrow for Aerith. Peace.